everybody. Here we are. I'm Ted Drozdowski. We're at Summer NAM 2016 in Nashville at the TV Jones booth. And as you can hear, there is some stuff going on. And uh, Mr. TV Jones himself is going to tell you all about it. Hi, I'd like to introduce the new line of Starwood series, uh, Strat pickups that we make. We also have the, the uh, Tele Starwood that we introduced at Anaheim NAM. So this is just the next step. And what I've done is I've taken our d -Armand magnets and magnet wire and, and, and uh, the way we build our t -Armand, we call t because of TV Jones, and, and incorporated it into the shape of the Stratocaster now. And uh, for extra inductance, I added uh, some, some uh, steel from the Hylotron pickup, which is a Gretsch single coil pickup. And uh, it kind of thickens the tone up is what more inductance gives you. A thicker sound, a little more output. So um, I hope you feel that when, you, when you're playing the guitar there, Chris. So this is our new Starwood series. Uh, would you like to hear it with a little gain? Yeah, let's hear that with a little gain. And this is Chris Casella playing, by the way. And Chris, what are those guitars like as a player? I mean, those, excuse me. Chris, what are those pickups like as a player? Well, what I like about them is they remind me of my favorite Strat pickups, and I won't mention where they're from. There's, to me, I had a hard time always finding good Strat pickups. But the distinction here is the, the rear pickup has got a lot more power and a lot more character than a lot of the thin ones that you'll find on other Strats. I don't like to name names. But a lot of times this pickup isn't my favorite. It's got the big fat front pickup you can hear. And the balanced nature of the pickups is important to me too, because if you bend a note, you might remember like Stevie used to go. And it would change color in a bend. Well this one will do that. Or and as you heard me earlier, I can play big, fat, telly, almost P90-sounding stuff on this rear one. So, to me, these are the best of the vintage-sounding pickups. I mean, that's just my ear. I don't know the technical stuff. But, to me, they sound like vintage strap pickups with the fattest rear pickup I've ever had. Thank you. Chris is back on deck? Yeah. What we have is a T-Series. It's a, it's a metal cover in the shape of a Filtertron. And, and originally, that was around a D. Armin pickup which we call T-Armand, our, our company's uh, pickup. Now I've incorporated the P90, which we uh, put in the T-Series mount. So you got, the, you got the nickel surround, and I'd like you to hear it. All right, terrific. These sound like P90s to me. <laughs> A lot of people are familiar with the TV Jones name. Can you tell us how you essentially make these pickups? Uh, we're making them with all of our own parts, um, our own tooling and and uh, USA screws, magnets, uh, everything, plating. 
I think it's really important to uh, go back to the the original form of making pickups out the USA style. Uh, we have a, a what I hope for is a very broad Q factor, very broad, not not focused and, and peaky. So um, another another concern is um, dynamics. So I hope uh, I hope you notice that when you play, right, Chris? It's terribly responsive. It's wonderful guitar. Every note is just you know clear. It makes a better player out of one, I would like to say. <laughs> and speaking of uh, historic uh, pickup building, yes, you've got something else to show us. Too, yes, uh, uh, this is all about Ray Butts. Uh, Ray Butts invented the Filtertron in the 50s. Worked for Gretsch, uh, worked with Gretsch. Um, Ray's daughter, Katha House, uh, gave me all of her father's parts, pickup parts. And I have uh, journals. And what I created with what she gave me is right behind you. I'll show you. Cool. This is uh, built from Ray's personal parts. I have thousands of them. And this is the, the first creation. And uh, it's, 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 it's a Sonic pickup. He had four versions that I read in, about in an interview. The Mellow uh, Sonic, the Plectrosonic, the uh, Nova Sonic and the Jazz Sonic. Did I mention jazz? There's so many. So this is the first. I'm gonna have an official release uh, in Anaheim at NAMM show in January. And I'm very excited about this. Great. This is a humbucking pickup? This is a humbucking pickup. And I, I believe, and I've, I've read that Ray Butts is actually the inventor of the humbucking pickup. It's kind of disputed, but um, apparently Ray and Seth Lover yeah, we're building up these, uh, inventing these pickups at the same time, and they didn't know each other, they didn't communicate. So uh, this is very exciting. This could be the inventor of the humbucking pickup, and I have uh, all of his uh, his notes and his parts, and this is very exciting. So it's taking it right back to the first generation of the humbucker. Exactly, yep. So I want to recreate what, what Ray was experimenting with. Great. Now, where can folks find out more about everything you do? Okay, uh, tvjones.com. Great. tvjones.com. And also, go to premierguitar.com to find out what's happening at 2016 Summer NAM in Nashville, Tennessee. I'd like to say thank you to Chris Casello, a wonderful friend of mine and great guitar player. Great. Thank you, Chris.